the five emotional stages I go through when I paint. Stage one, having an obsessive mind comes into handy for the creative. She imagines her obsession so hard that it turns into photographic memory. She studies the shading, the light, the horror, and sometimes awe, the slight sliver of purple going across a certain feature. She can't help it. Soon after, she sees another image fly through her mind, and she tries to bring it back because of how unusual she finds it. That image is then mixed in with her obsession, creating a picture of something that makes her want to just run home and capture that still in a canvas just as it is in her mind. For a few seconds, her brain lights up and she feels so powerful. Stage two. She gets her paints together and sets up her canvas. The vast whiteness of the slate staring straight at her just gives her goosebumps. The face goes here, the leaves go here, but what colors? Um, where does the hand I thought would look cool go? A tube of paint is then opened, and then another, both squeezed out on a makeshift palette. The sole purpose of her life right now is to finish this painting. And it must resemble every little pixel in the picture she drew in her head. Stage 3. After putting on the first layer, she wonders whether this was a good idea at all. The white of the canvas is still peeking through, obscuring the intensity of the hues she wants to actually show in the painting. It looks plain ugly and she doesn't know where to get to next. What's the point? What if this idea was one of those which, once I followed through, just ended up being meh? A hopelessness starts to hover over her, almost convincing her to abandon the painting altogether. This looks nothing like my original idea at all. Stage 4 She watches a week's worth of motivational videos to hype herself up and finally sits down to continue. Time flies by, till finally the images shine through. Layers after layers of paint have collaborated together to bring about a solid structure that turns out to have some potential. The dark cloud parts from above her to have some light shine through. Stage 5 She rides that high and paints and paints till she makes up her mind for the hundredth time that it is time to put that brush down. The strokes resemble the image in her mind, but does not quite look exactly like what she imagined. The painting is I, she says to herself. She stares at it from 20 different angles, and it does not just have that right look yet. What is just right, anyway? She ponders while she goes to bed, wakes up the next morning, and while going to work, once again becomes enamored by another image which, like an addict, she itches to depict on another canvas.